Hello and welcome to a weekend reading vlog. Yes! So I wanted to film a quick clip. I am actually about to do some non-reading. Let me just pull all my hair out of my bun. That's cool. Some non-reading related things. I'm about to go shopping for some shorts. Fun. Um, so I thought maybe I would kick this off with a little like dressing room clip if things look okay on me. Um, but I am reading a few books and I will be reading them this weekend. The first one being Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Um, if you watched my video last week, then um, you saw that that is the one that I chose, spoiler alert, from my Try a Chapter tag. Um, and I am about a quarter of the way through. I'm really liking it. So I'll be reading that. And then I am working my way through my e-arc that I got from NetGalley for Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. That is a adult contemporary rom-com chiclet. It is very cheesy. It's not that it's not well written. It's definitely like fine. Like the writing is fine. Um, but it is filthy and I think maybe I didn't expect it to be quite so filthy. Not that I'm a prude, I just like wasn't expecting it. Um, so it is filthy and also um, kind of corny, but it's it's good. Like it's a good like quick read and I'm enjoying it. So, you know, but I'm about, oh gosh, I'd probably say I'm about 70, 75% of the way through that one. So I'll definitely be finishing that this weekend and I'm going to be on my own most of the weekend my husband has a pool tournament he plays for like a legit pool team and um so he has a tournament all weekend and then um i'm helping my mom with a few things tomorrow afternoon but other than that i have like zero plans so i think uh it's pretty much just going to be reading and then i'm going to go through some clothes i need to donate some clothes and stuff so maybe we'll do that together i don't know if you want to see that so anyway I'm going to head in and do some shopping, and I'll catch y'all later. Booktube. Do not adjust your screens. This is my true beauty. It is much later on a Friday. I ended up getting two pairs of shorts in my little shopping adventure, but mm, I'm not crazy about them. It is 9.30. As you can see, why are face masks so big in some areas and then so small in others, like the eye hole area? Like... Who's out there with these tiny ass eyes? Like, anyway, um, this is a moisturizing, I think, mask that I've got going on. Lord knows I can use it. Um, let me get my mouth hole in check here. There we go. So it's 9.30. I took a nice shower after I ate an obscene amount of Arby's because I'm a trash person. And I didn't eat lunch. So I was starving, and then I was like, that was too much Arby's. But anyway, I took a shower and blow dried my hair, and now I'm doing a mask and reading. So I'm reading Fix Her Up, and I'm on page 213 of 290, so like whatever that is on this e-arc. It is so filthy. Like, it's the filthiest thing I've ever read. And I read Fifty Shades, which I get is, like, so tame. You know, for people who, like, really read this genre a lot, like, this is probably nothing. And I'm not a prude by any means, but I'm like, holy shit. So, anyway, it's very cheesy. It's very tropey. Um, but am I enjoying it? I mean, sure. I'm not, like, not enjoying it, you know? Um, so anyway, I think I'm going to finish this tonight. I don't see why I wouldn't. My husband is getting ready to come home, um, so I'll probably want to spend some time with him. But yeah, I will check in later tonight when I am freshly moisturized and I have finished this book and let you know my final thoughts on it. Good morning! I'm a big fat liar. I didn't update you last night uh, because by the time I finished 
fix her up. It was very late and Scott was already asleep beside me and I didn't want to film a clip. So anyways, I did finish Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey last night. Um, I ended up giving it two stars. Guys, okay, so this isn't, it's not a bad book. I think that it's just not my cup of tea. Like, I do like a romance and I do like a smutty romance. Um, I like, I love the kiss quotient. Um, I think that I just, for me, personally, I just need a little more substance and a better story to enjoy that kind of thing. Um, and I was, like I said in my clip before, it was very corny. And I was going to give it three stars because I was like, you know, I'm enjoying this regardless of the fact that it's corny. But oh my god, the ending was just so over the top unrealistic so over the top that I was just like I can't I gotta give this a two but that's not to say that like I think it's a bad book and I don't think it's badly written it's just it is what it is like straight up so I just want to like say that like it's a two for me but it's not going to be a two for a lot of other people um and I think it's just more my personal preference of how I like romance um so yeah that's fine. Um, gave it a two and I actually, I wanted to keep reading last night, but I wanted to turn my light off. So I scoured until I found an ebook from the library that they had available that I wanted to read. So I actually started Dark Matter by Blake Crouch last night, just kind of on a whim. I mean, I only got to like page six or seven, um, before I fell asleep, but yeah, so I started reading that on ebook. I highly doubt I will finish that during this reading vlog. Um, but I also, I got up this morning and watched some Insta stories and watched uh, like the first half of Lala's bookshelf tour. I'll watch the latter half tonight when I get home. And um, read a couple chapters of Truly Devious. So I think I am on page 131 of like 420, 416, something like that. Um, so I'm not quite halfway, maybe a third. I don't know. Um, I really like it so far. I like this cast of characters that we have met at Ellingham Academy. Um, and I really like our main character, Stevie, so far. She's kind of like a budding detective. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm really liking it so far. You get like a few chapters in the present and then you'll go back to the 30s when this like m these murders slash kidnappings happened so you're kind of unfolding that mystery and stevie's trying to um solve that mystery among like other things so it's very interesting i really like it it's just like quirky funny enough um i'm really enjoying the way maureen johnson is writing it so i'm actually off to my mom's house i'm gonna help her clean a little bit she had a bunch of work done in her house recently and so it's just kind of like in disarray um so i don't know if i mentioned in a earlier clip but scott is at a pool tournament all day today possibly tomorrow as well if they do if they win today then they'll go on and and play tomorrow as well um so i'm possibly by myself all weekend but i am heading to my mom's don't know that I will really vlog much. It's just going to be a lot of cleaning and stuff. And uh, I will not get any reading done. But I will hop back on here later and update you guys once I've gotten home and probably showered again and am reading again. I'll let you know what I'm up to. So anyway, see you later. It is 88 degrees outside, and yeah, that can just fuck right off. I hate it. Okay, so I'm back in my car. Um, I ended up not really cleaning at my mom's. She was like, hey, I kind of don't want to clean. 
I said, that's fine. So we just sort of hung out for several hours and just had some mother-daughter time, which was nice. I've got the air blasting, which is why I'm having a very America's Next Top Model moment in my car. Because like I said, it's 88 degrees, which is horrible. Um, I live in Tennessee, so it's very hot in the summer. And the summer is basically May through uh, October. <laughs> Unless we get lucky. It sometimes starts to cool off in October. Anyway, I've not read, but it looks like I'm going to be alone most of the night because Scott's pool tournament is going really well, which is great. Um, but it means I'm probably going to be by myself the rest of the night and hopefully, I mean, hopefully most of tomorrow because then that means that he did well in the tournament and they it continues on to tomorrow. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with myself tonight, guys. Um, I guess read very boring. I lead a very boring life. I wouldn't mind like going out and doing something, I guess, but it's just so hot. <laughs> I hate the heat so much. So I'm sorry for being the biggest complainer ever. Um, I love autumn and winter. That's my jam. Can't stand summer. Um, unless I am near or in a body of water, then summer is great. So, I'm probably going to go home to my air-conditioned house and snuggle my cats and read. I'll um, catch you up if I do anything different. Hello, I have actually gotten some reading done since we last talked. I've um, been reading Truly Devious. I am like 40% of the way through, um, trying to hit the 50% mark before I eat dinner maybe. I don't know. I think that I'm going to maybe order a pizza or something and um, maybe watch Dead to Me because I watched the first five episodes last night and I want to watch the last five tonight. If you've not watched that, it is a new show on Netflix with Christina Applegate. It's ten episodes. They're 30 minutes apiece. Very easy to get through. Oh, okay. God. Um, and it is very dark. But, like, kind of funny and definitely, like, mystery, twisty, turny. So, I am digging it. Um, but, yeah, I think that if I am really diligent about it, then I think I can get Truly Devious read by the end of tomorrow. Like, before I need to leave to go to the Game of Thrones finale. Which I will um, vlog. I mean, I'm obviously not going to, like, show you Game of Thrones um, and spoil anything. But... I'll probably show you our little get together. But I think I can get this right, especially if I'm by myself all day tomorrow. Um, I'm basically just doing laundry and reading. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably like, it helps me if I um, do it in like chunks. If I tell myself, okay, I need to get to this chapter or this page and I just take it little by little. Um, especially when I'm getting near the halfway mark or I'll do like halfway or a quarter. So I think I'm going to do that, but I'm really liking this. I'm not super wrapped up in the mystery yet of who, like the mystery from the thirties that, that Stevie wants to solve our main character. Um, but I am really enjoying the cast of characters at this academy and kind of how they are all going to, you know, play into this whole thing. Uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So uh, as of right now, it's like a four or five star, but again, I'm only about 40% of the way through. So I think I'm going to get some dinner and watch some TV and get back to reading. Hello. So once again, I am a big fat liar and I did not update you all yesterday. Um, when I, after I read last night. Um, so it is Sunday. It is like two o'clock almost. And I have gotten quite a bit of Truly Devious read. I am right about there. I think I have 140 pages left. Um, I'm on page 276 at chapter 20. It really, not that the beginning is slow, but it really starts to pick up about a third of the way in. And I feel like some shit starts going down and it gets really even easier to read and just you get really hooked on it, by the way. There's a genie in the window. Hey, baby girl. Um, so I'm by myself again today. Scott um, is still doing his pool tournament. So I got up this morning and read some. 
and um, I've been doing more laundry because laundry is my life and um, have been watching some Buffy because I have never watched Buffy before and so I'm taking part in the sleigh along that um, Heather from Bookables and several other people I think um, Mel from Mel to the Any maybe is also doing it. Spencer from Common Spence. There's a couple other people. I'll link it all down below that are hosting the Slayathon, doing a watch or rewatch of Buffy. So um, I only ever watched the first season, and it was back in high school. So I am in the third season because that's the season we're watching this month. And I just finished the episode The Wish. So if you're a Buffy fan, I think that's like a fan favorite episode, um, and it was really good. So been watching that. Um, I finished Dead to Me last night. I don't think that I um, updated you on that. So good. So good. Uh, it's on Netflix, at least in the U.S. I don't know if it's everywhere else, but it is really good and it goes by very quickly because they are only 30 minute episodes. Um, but that's all besides the point. Um, I watch a lot of TV, so you know. I am uh, going to my brothers and a friend of my brothers tonight to watch the Game of Thrones series finale. So I think I'm going to take you all along with me to do that and then I maybe will just like wrap up a little bit Monday with this vlog before it goes up on Tuesday um, just so that you can see some Game of Thrones stuff. Obviously no spoilers um, but just kind of you know show you our little party that we're having. And, uh, yeah, but right now, like I said, it's about two and I've not eaten lunch and I'm very hungry. So I think I'm going to maybe run out and grab some lunch. It is supposed to be very hot and humid today, so I don't want to be out very long. We've established how much I hate the heat. Um, but yeah, and then I'll come back here and probably watch some more Buffy and also read and maybe edit this vlog. So yeah, that's where we're at. What do you think, Junebug? She just wants me to let her sleep. I can confirm it is very hot, but it's kind of nice out. I mean, you know, I don't have my sunglasses on yet, so I'm very squinty. I feel like those cars are like, why is that girl filming herself? They don't understand that YouTube life. Double rainbow! Okay, Scott and I, there's Scott, um, we're getting ready to go in and watch Game of Thrones with our friends. So Scott, how are you feeling? That's what I want to know. How are you feeling about the last episode ever of Game of Thrones? Apprehensive. Yeah, same. Did you like the last episode that we watched? Parts of it. Yeah. We're not going to say spoilers. Um, yeah. I hated parts of it and liked parts of it, I guess. So yeah, I'm apprehensive. I think I have a feeling of how things are going to go down tonight. But I wouldn't be surprised by anything at this point. It's yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited, but I kind of think it's going to be disappointing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm trying not to go into it feeling that way. Anyway, I'm going to try to take some footage in here if people will be okay with that, and maybe see what some other people. Our feeling about Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is something in the news? Oh my god. Guac today. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I was thinking about the shredded cheese being Cersei's hair. Yeah. I don't know. That was kind of near. Hey Bradbury. Look how handsome. Oh my god. Okay. 
it is Monday um, and I just wanted to do a little clip to wrap up this vlog. Sorry I wasn't able to take a ton of footage from last night's Game of Thrones thing. Um, people are weird about being in vlogs and it's weird vlogging your friends. I don't know. So I took a few clips. Um, I have a lot of feelings about that finale, but I won't talk about them here because, spoiler free, um, but when I got home, I was still like really ramped up um, from the episode, so I wasn't able to get to sleep, and I had like 50 pages of Truly Devious left, so I ended up finishing Truly Devious last night. I gave it four stars. I really liked this. Um, I do want to say, if you are going to read this book, know going into it that it is a series. And so there are mysteries and things presented in this book that are not resolved in this book. So this is not a standalone. And, and like some mystery series, it is not a book where one mystery happens and is resolved. And then the next book, we move on to a different case. I don't know what the next book will be, but it has to be some kind of continuation of this. I'm sure there will be other things added in, other mysteries. But um, there is, it seems to be an overarching mystery maybe throughout the series that is not resolved in this. So I want you to go into that knowing that um, so that you're not terribly disappointed at the end when, you know, X doesn't be, isn't resolved. Um, I enjoyed this so much. Like I said, I gave it four stars. I've already put uh, The Vanishing Stair, which is the second one on hold at the library. And it looks like the third one is set to come out next January. And I can't remember the name of it. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be three or if it'll keep going. But I'm here for all of them. I felt like Maureen Johnson wrote this in such a witty and engaging way that even though it's a bit of a slow burn mystery and it really doesn't start picking up till, uh, like I said, about a third or halfway through, you're not bored. Like, you're just meeting this cast of characters, you're meeting all these kids at this academy, and there is a romance, there is a love interest, I guess, for Stevie, our main character. Um, that's, it's fine, but it's not, like, the focus of the book. I don't know, I just really enjoyed this a lot. So to my friends who DNF'd this, I don't know why you did, <laughs> but that's okay, that's your journey. Um, but I did not DNF this, I enjoyed it very much. So yeah, to wrap up, I read two books this weekend. I finished Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson and I finished Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. Um, and I also started Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, which I am 10% of the way into. Um, reading that on ebook and I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, do a little clip to wrap this up. If you enjoyed watching this little weekend reading vlog, please let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below and hit subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. Um, and as always, I will be back soon with more book talk. Bye!